Don't watch me, watch Nosey TV. It's the best video ever and subscribe to it. It's your boy Dre, man, and y'all are tuning in to Nola Zing TV. Let's get it. Okay. Um, so, I'm like, tell everybody where you're from. I am from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Born and raised. Okay. East side. That's what's up. <laughs> so like growing up in Houston, um, hey, but tell them, you know, hey, but like how was your um, like, upbringing? Upbringing? Uh, upbringing was like, it was rough because uh, I stayed with my my grandma. I didn't, I didn't grow up with my mom, but it was like all, all of my mom kids under one roof, plus my grandma kids. So. Whole lot of fight. Whole lot of fight, <laughs> whole lot of stress, whole lot of Fighting for scraps, you know. Just, Sharing. Yeah, you know, you know how that go. Yeah, a lot of people can relate to it, like going by grandma. Mm -hmm. I used to go with my grandma because she cooked, yeah. not, hey, but not because I had to. I just like went there because I knew she yeah. had food. Oh yeah, <laughs> oxtails. Yeah. That was that was my favorite meal. When my grandma cooked oxtails, so I already know about the cooking. You know, you go eat, eat. <laughs> so growing up, I'm like, who influenced you? I'm forced to start making music. Um, really everything, bro. Like, I was always in front of the TV, watching TV, watching the music videos, watching 106 Apart, just being inspired, you know, at a young age. Um, but I would say I really looked up to Wayne and probably everybody, man. Everybody, pretty much. I understand that. So tell us, um, how did you actually come up on it with your name? With my name? So, Drain is actually my last name. So, uh, Rashad is my first name. And at first, my artist name was Rashad Drain. But uh, we recently decided to just make it Drain so it'll like stick out more, you know? Right. If you didn't want to, if you didn't want to uh, tell the world, your whole name just be running with it, huh? That's fine. It was fine? Yeah. <laughs> If you want to represent the family, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, tell us. I'm like, what separates you? I'm like, from other artists. What separates me? And this might sound cliche, but my sound is different. It's unheard of. You cannot replicate it unless you know what I'm saying. You you really can't. You know, because um, I come from a lot of different. Angles. I come from a lot of different genres. I come from, I come from, from pure just honesty, you know. And a lot of people don't be super honest, but uh, yeah, I, I sing, I rap, I, I do it all, man. Sing and rap, huh? Sing and rap. Oh, so you basically, is you basically are the best of both worlds? Best of both worlds. You can say that. Like I fuck shit up, like. You know, <laughs> so so tell us like um on the DMV projects coming up. Projects I just dropped a project called Winners Only. Uh, it's going crazy right now. Uh, uh, Instagram on a uh, rap page on Instagram. They just shouted me out. World Star just shouted me out. Uh, this Toronto rappers page just shouted me out. So you know we really just. But it must be a reason why everybody shouted you out. Yeah, going crazy, man. So. Um, Tape, tape, wow! They got a lot of, a lot of club bangers, but it also got like the soft side for the women. So, you know, it's called Winners Only. Okay. Go crazy. And so, you know, being able to sing and rap, mm -hmm. like, tell us, I'm like, which one do you actually, I'm like, prefer to actually do more? I ain't gonna lie, that's tricky, but I would say, I don't know. I'm a singing ass nigga, bro. I, I just be around the house just singing. You know what? All the time. Hey, hit some for us right quick. You know, hit some for the world. <laughs> you know? What you got? What's the song I just released? Face down. Uh, ooh, I like your body. Hitting them Pilates. Chillin' in cabanas, out in Abu Dhabi. Girl, you such a vibe. Ex niggas still trying. Tell them move around. 
No nigga in town. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, if, do you have any I mean, upcoming I'm mean, like features? Features, no. Like I just I, I really just been doing everything solo. So I record I'm just with your fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I record everything on my own, write everything on my own. Uh, I'm about to start making the beats on my own. You about to shoot your own videos? Nah. I would <laughs> I would if I could though. All right. What if I'm and I know somebody be doing all that. Like, you know what? I'm about to cut everybody off. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I, I even know an artist actually made his own media blog page. Oh, no. He like, you know what? I'm about to, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna make my way home. Yeah. That's 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 the reason why I started uh, doing most of the things for yourself. Yeah, cause I, I I just hate depending on people, you know. And if I can do it myself, no, why it. not? Yeah. 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 I, I kind of feel you. Like I do everything myself. Yeah. Edit everything. Yeah. Create website. Everything. Yeah. You got to, bro. That's. Cut out, that, hands on. cut out that middle man, you know what I'm saying? It's way easier. If you cut out that overhead, everything yeah. everything turns easier. Easy, easy. Okay. So, you know, it's how long have you actually been doing music? And actually, how long have you been taking music seriously? All right, so I recorded my first song uh, probably around 2012. I was young, I was 16, 17, you know, I was in high school. Uh, it was Stay Scheming by Drake, French Montana. I remember it. Uh, Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was like, that was my first time like ever recording. I just wrote That's it. That's how it went, you know? The first uh, time you I, got, I, you I, know? I don't, I don't remember. No. <laughs> but uh, that was it. And then uh, over time, I just kept kept going, kept teaching myself, kept, kept just progressing. But I say this year was the year that I started taking everything serious. Yeah, started taking everything serious and you know, going crazy, going hard. Okay. So, and so tell us this. And so you know, doing it seriously and taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, tell us what you enjoy most about the music industry, and tell us what you actually on the hate about the music industry. Okay. So what I hate, I could probably tell you what I hate before I tell you what I love. Uh, what I hate is that, you know. It's it, it's a lot of it's it's super saturated, you know. So so you really gotta fight and and your sound really gotta like cut through all the noise in order to like for people to like really just mess with you, you know. But the thing I love the most is after you do cut through all that noise, the the feedback and everybody just you know what I'm saying welcoming welcoming your music, you know, like taking it all in and shit. So, you know. Okay. So tell us, well, tell your fans yeah. something about you that you don't show on your social media. Uh, I'm a pretty goofy guy, bro. Like behind closed doors, I'm pretty goofy. Like social media, I'm all serious and you know how that go. But over time, I'm gonna hop out that shell and y'all gonna see that. Okay. I have a funny question for you. Yeah. Have you ever been catfished? Catfish. And like, you ain't just, like, and like when I ask, have you been catfished? I don't just mean social media. Like, have you ever saw a chick that looked in a certain way, like on social media, she looked different? Like, and like you didn't have to meet her? Or like a chick just lied to you and, oh, all one chick looked good with clothes on and when she took it off, everything just fell. Okay. So <laughs> this this situation don't gotta do like with a female. Okay. But like like so what what happened was somebody reached out to my manager, right? And they they claimed to be someone in uh OVO. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we working with the dude, you know what I'm saying? He's sending us beats. He's sending us, you know what I'm saying? So we like, cool, like if you say you work with OVO, all right. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, we 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 sent sent him some bread for one of the beats. You know what I'm saying? And then after the fact, we did a little more research, and only to find out, you know what I'm saying? He he wasn't who he said he was, and he was actually on the show Catfish. Damn. Yeah. Wow, that's even funny. Hey, Drez Coleman. <laughs> you gotta say his name. Hey, Drez Coleman. And so he big catfish to be big catfish, bro. But so, so you really, really got catfish. Yeah, you got catfish. You got catfish with 
actually buy one on a professional that's yeah. been on the show. Professional. <laughs> and, and he's a professional he, catfisher. He's still going. He's still going. Damn. I think I think he just got a uh, Asian dog. Uh, not hey, but it might be, you right? know. That's the name. Asian dog. Sound about right. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so tell us where you see your music career going. I'm like three years from now. Oh, three years from now, bro. I'm gonna be the biggest, the baddest, the 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 the, the creator of a new sound. The 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 person everybody looks up to. The man, listen. I'm setting the foundation right now, and it, and it's moving pretty fast, you know. So, uh, three years from now, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the biggest and the baddest out there, you know. So, and so speaking on to like everybody looks up to, yeah. what's your advice to when younger artists that's trying to follow on to your footsteps? Uh, of course, look up to me. Uh, you know, of course, take inspiration from me. But always be yourself, you know. Uh, uh, try to sound like yourself because uh, once you once you find your own sound and you can stand out from everyone else, it'll be so much easier for you to cut through. Facts. Yeah. Okay. So, do you feel like you have to move? I mean, out of Texas once your music career I'm mean, gonna reach a certain milestone. Uh, yeah, I do, but. I do, but I don't because maybe, maybe if I was still uh, living in Houston, you know, um, I actually stay in Austin right now, but uh, Austin has just been like welcoming and like just. I was about to ask you, like, yeah, if how is Austin? Like, yeah. how is the music scene? Uh, how is the people treat no, you? They they treat me like this, my home, you know, like everybody fucks with me. Yeah, so. I think I got that these past few days yeah. like when you come and move like right i'm visiting <laughs> so, i'm gonna definitely kick it out here uh after you know what i'm saying i make it or whatever they call it uh for a little bit and then i'm gonna probably branch off somewhere else but for the moment definitely staying in austin you know okay yeah so you know Tickle was a great, another funny question though. Mm -hmm. Most people be ready. If you can date anyone in the entertainment business or the music industry, who would it be and tell us why? Anyone? Yeah. <sighs> anyone? Uh, anyone. I don't really think I just like crush on anyone in the industry like that. I would say I, I think they're attractive. Like you got the sweeties that are attractive. Uh, you got um, yeah. I don't think I would date anyone. I don't crazy. I don't think I want an industry girl. You know. I kind of feel the same way. You know. I don't. I you want like a low key more? Girl. Yeah. You, I feel like it'll be too too much. Like too right. much. So. Right. If then you gonna get hard broke. She y'all gonna right. break up. She gonna be working with other artists, and you right. ain't gonna be able to work that hard because you gonna really be like you got don't my chick. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, some they gonna get hit now. But you just ain't gonna take them serious. Nah, I, oh, I can't. Shit. I can't go to myself. Can't. They can still get hit though. Yeah, they still <laughs> gonna get hit, but I, I can't. I can't date, bro. I'm sorry. Okay. So has there ever been one point in your music career only like, when you just want to give up? Yeah, bro. I almost did. Uh, probably the beginning of pandemic. There was no direction, no nothing, no. Everything, I just felt like everything was falling apart, you know? Uh, and, and probably because of the pandemic as well, it made it feel like that, but, um, yeah, bro, uh, before, before I met my manager, you know, like I was just constantly making music, but I wasn't actually putting it out. I didn't know what to do with the music. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know nothing, so, yeah. That answers your question. Okay, if I can respect that. <laughs> so, you know, like, you know, if, like, what happened? Like, you know, as soon as the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. it just, it, it was, how did it make you feel? Like, like, you know, everybody lost their jobs, of course, you know, like, nothing was really going on, just stuck, just, everything was just down bad, like, you know, so, um, but Houston, of course. Houston was going crazy. 
you know, club scenes were still going crazy. Uh, we and I think that that inspired me to make a lot of my my, my club bangers because uh, I'm I'm not really like before the pandemic I wasn't a turn up person, you know. I was just chill, laid back, you know. Oh, so now you out and everything, man. Out, out and about, doing everything. Pandemic. And it helps you promote your music and your yeah. brand. Yeah. So the pandemic really like got me on my shell because you know you was just everybody was just in the house. So. And so, but it probably was a blessing. Yeah. Really. Okay. Honestly. So like, far as like the for like the entire Texas go, mm -hmm. do you feel like other music artists actually I mean, support each other? Not a, not as much as they should. I feel like with Texas, like everything is more of a competition than than like in uh, Atlanta, where you know what I'm saying. No, I, like, like a lot of people get Atlanta with you. Like Atlanta competition, yeah. but they got certain like like it's, it's a certain group mm -hmm. of people that's like kind of together. Mm -hmm. And they kind of help people that that was under them get get on. Yeah, but in Houston, they don't have nobody that's under them get on. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like all the old heads. Like, what did y'all do? Well, see, the thing is with the older people in Houston. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm like none of them are, are like still mainstream. Yeah. And they don't have no real like record labels in yeah. Houston. Yeah. So you know, like in Atlanta, you could just walk to the label. Mm -hmm. Man, I need this for this artist. And this the next artist. True. And they have a system. True. In Atlanta, they got like like. Like, and like in Atlanta, has the power to break an artist yeah. because the A and R's and the music execs are going to those strip clubs, exactly. and these DJs have control. Like in Houston, it would have to be like a All Star Weekend yeah. or something got to be going on. Yeah, and that's uh, I feel like, I feel like, I will definitely like change that. Like right. the whole. Hey, but the dope thing about Austin, yeah. if if you take over Austin, yeah, if as soon as like South by Southwest come, everybody can trying to figure out who the hell you are. Exactly. So it's and it's and it's I'm telling you it's already happening. Like all the DJs know about me. Uh, uh, everybody's spinning my records. Uh, it's it's just like love out here, man, for me. So like that's good. Yeah. Okay. So tell us. I'm like, what's next for you? Do you plan on dropping merch? I'm like, starting your own label, signing artists, working with more artists. Tell us what's uh, next. Definitely, definitely dropping merch for winners only. That's that's the. That's the name of the brand, you know. Uh, uh, definitely creating more bangers, more hits. Uh, uh, I'm gonna probably start dropping more music two months from now. You know, I just want to promote the mixtape and everything, and get that, get that, get that out the way. But uh, yeah, we got a, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of upcoming stuff, man. Okay. So, and also, last but not least, tell everybody, I'm like, what can they find you at on social media and just every other on a music platform? Okay, you can find me at Official Drain. That's every platform, every social media platform. Official Drain. Uh, uh, and yeah, man, hit your boy. We out here. All right, we done. <laughs> Z, make him scream. N O L A Z I N E. Make him. S-C-R-E-A-M Scream Nola Zine Make him scream You heard me